Hey YouTubers, today I'm very busy on turning all these Crescent Limited passenger cars with new LED lights and hi-hats, which I'll explain in another video. But for the time right now, I got all the lids off and I'm taking out all of the existing incandescent light bulbs and putting them to the side. Now in the process while uh, removing all these light bulbs, well, the wires, they came loose off the trucks that uh, provided power for them. So this is the uh, center rail pickup truck and the wire just broke off it when I pulled off the lights. So we're gonna to have to get the wire soldered on back to the pickup so we can have our, our passenger cars light up. Uh, the passenger cars are held on here with a plastic truck rivet and uh, I'll show you how to take those off, reinstall it, and in case if you break the truck rivet, well, we'll use regular pop rivets. Use this passenger car as an example because, uh, well, this one was damaged and uh, I'm not gonna be too particular about this one. Uh, the truck rivet, shown here on the grounding truck is right over here. If you could just see, it's right there, right where the end of the green wire is, just that little dimple. Um, if you were to find this on the center pickup truck, you gotta pick up the wheel and then look inside and see where the location is. Now to get these guys out, you would have to make sure that the rivet is going to be in your favor to get the uh, small needle nose inside. So if you could get the sides in just like this, give it a squeeze, a little, it comes right off. And there you can see the truck rivet. Not all these passenger cars are going to have plastic rivets. This dining car has metal rivets to secure the trucks to the body. Be careful when drilling these out so you don't damage the truck or the center pickup contact on the truck. Okay, so now we're going to take this 26 gauge solid wire and we're going to solder it to the clip here of the center rail truck. Uh, let's say this was the ground truck, as I have here in the passenger car that I don't care about. You can see that there is a hole on the ground spot right there in the center of the camera. So you could solder a wire right there and just route it up into the passenger car. Uh, just gotta keep it away from the wheels and then you're all set. As for the, uh, the center rail truck, the place that we're gonna have to solder onto is the hole right there um, on the, uh, the pickup there. So it's kind of in there, it's folded over, so it's going to be kind of hard to get to that clip. So we're going to take some small needle nose, just pry it out just a little bit. And that's perfect. So we're going to strip some of the wire back and make a little hook out of this, like you see here. And then we're going to get the wire inserted through the back of the uh, copper contact. And you want it to go through the hole just like this. Then just push the wire over the copper and then take the rest of the wire and wrap it around the coupling and then this will hold in place and you're ready to solder. Okay. Now I'm going to take the wire, I'm going to push it into the truck because we don't want the wire to rub up against the wheels, creating a short later. And if we can, we just take a screwdriver, kind of bend the wire into place so that it's not up against the, uh, the wheels or anything. And that's fine. Then we take the passenger car where it came off of. I put the uh, truck rivet back in place. It doesn't have to come out. I just showed you that it could just come out. Feed our wire through the light bulb holes. Push it in place. And voila, that's it. We're done. Just make sure that the wire is in a good position, which it does look. It's not going to hit the wheels or anything. And we're all set. Passenger car is ready to go. Now let's say if you broke the truck rivet, they do sell replacements of these online. The part number is 9700-20. You could get them on eBay. I think Lionel has them, and I've seen one place, Henning's Trains, they have them. Uh, let's say if they didn't have any, or if you want to use a pop rivet, a 5.30 seconds pop rivet will work. This is the short shank. They do make longer shanks. If you use a longer shank, just make sure it does not interfere with the center rail pickup. 
and it fits nicely inside the hole, very snug. Uh, if we just rivet it, if we just rivet this in place, the truck is going to be uh, adhered to the body of the car and it's not going to turn whatsoever. So to fix this, here is what I'm going to do. If you take a number six number or a number eight washer and then you just cut them in half like this. Center it around the hole and take the pop rivet and put it inside. Just like that. Then, take our pop rivet gun then pop that out. I mean, now as you can see, I mean, this thing is I'm holding it by the truck. If this was riveted in place, this is not going to steer anywhere. So, here's what I did. If you take a small screwdriver, put it here, and then just start turning the truck back and forth and push on the washer. the washer will come out. That's one. And once it's out, just take the washer out, pan on back, and now the truck is now riveted to the passenger car. And this feels rather firm now compared to the way how these guys are just kind of flimsy so this will ride nicely on the tracks and uh, this is an alternative to the plastic truck rivets so I hope this helps out anybody if you have uh, any problems you have to rewire trucks or connect them to your passenger cars and stuff so leave a comment in the comment section and I'll see everybody later